This video is brought to you by someone who hates Christmas. N no, not you. No, no, get out of here. No, no, my spotlight, not yours. Correction, this video is brought to you by a person who doesn't really care about Christmas. Fucking old men. My point still stands. Hello everyone, welcome back to a Star Stable Random Topics video. Based on the thumbnail or the title, you are here to hear me ramble about SSO's holiday event. This video is just going to go over my thoughts on how they are handling the events and how I feel about it all. From what I have seen across multiple socials for Star Stable's community, they are upset, which is a valid response to things that you have grown up and grown used to seeing being taken away. But as someone who is very indifferent overall to this topic, all I wanted to mention were things I feel people aren't paying attention to and bring up points I feel people may not have noticed or even overall know about when it came to the changes being made. Let's start off with Galentine's and St. Patrick's Day. These holidays are small compared to ones like Christmas and Halloween. They only last a day and have no build up to them like Halloween or Christmas do. So I don't fault Star Stable for not investing time and assets into making things for them. I personally would love if they added a little pawn shop or an antique shop for all the tack and the clothes that came with these events that players would have access to and would be able to buy. I remember last year when they did it for Valentine's Day, I finally got this little pink bow that I had been wanting for so long. So having an antique shop of sorts would be nice for players that missed out on these events. On the other side of the coin, the origins of these holidays aren't the greatest. Originally, Valentine's Day was to celebrate the execution of St. Valentinus by the Catholic Church and honor his death. There is a whole story, you can search it up, I'm not going to go over it all. And on top of that, it was also originally a Roman pagan holiday for fertility called Lupercalia, another celebration that was by today's societal standards odd. They sacrificed a dog and a goat. And then it got outlawed by the Catholic Church because they don't want to have fun. And then they replaced it entirely to celebrate St. Valentinus' death as a way to cover up Lupercalia. <laughs> We're gonna see a pattern here with the church. And with time, it has become what we know now as a couple's holiday, and this is a kid's game. It is irrelevant. Just saying, that's why a shop would be better. On the flip, St. Patrick's Day was no better. Originally the pagan holiday of Ostara, or the spring equinox, it was to celebrate nature. Spring being the time of rebirth, and Ostara was to celebrate that along with Balance of Nature. St. Patrick was a slave brought to Ireland who escaped captivity, then somehow managed to convert the pagans to Christianity, most likely under the threat of death. And once again, the church made it a day to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in his efforts to dehumanize and decriminalize against pagan practices, as well as cover up another pagan holiday. Do you see a pattern here? Yes, their meaning has changed in modern times. Neither of these celebrations are celebrated for the same reasons as they once were. But still, I wouldn't want these in a kid game. Again, they are irrelevant. They aren't really all important outside of individual aspects. As for April Fool's Day, I really just think they aren't going to waste time, money, and effort on an event that only lasts a day. As fun as it was. I do hope to see it again. Maybe once the character update is done and maybe the map is fully finished and updated, they will bring it back again. Again, I understand why they aren't wasting time and effort on this. It is just for a single day. So far, Star Stable has festivals and events that are sprinkled throughout all seasons. The Cloud Kingdom in spring, the Equestrian Festival held in summer, or vice versa, I don't, I don't know. Then through fall to winter, back to back, we have Star Stable's birthday in September, Halloween, and then Christmas slash Yule. On top of that, we do have a few smaller events sprinkled out here and there, like the Beach Festival, for example. That alone is a lot to work with, even if the activities you bring back are recycled and old. Plus, Star Stable already lied about a quest team. It's hard to say if they're lying about having teams dedicated to doing the events as is anyway. With that, I do want to talk about the Winter Village. The Winter Village got an update in like 2020, 2021? I don't know. It's The past three years have been wild. I personally like it, and we will get into the reason why later. But a lot of players didn't like it. Some said it felt less like Christmas, some said it just looked bland and not colorful. Others just overall don't like the new graphics and by default don't like the new look. All are valid reasons, you are entitled to your thoughts and opinions. I want to explain why I like the new one. Now, I enjoyed the old village, please don't get me wrong. It was cute and fun to explore and I really did like that igloo that you were able to go and trade stuff at. But as stated at the beginning of this video, I personally do not like Christmas. Something about it never sat right with me, even as a kid. I liked to spend time with my family, but I didn't care about gift giving. I love the food, but I never cared about decorating. The tree was fun, the snow is better. 
And now as an adult, I love to play Alice and jump down rabbit holes. I have found out why I don't like Christmas. And now as an adult, I love to play Alice and jump down many rabbit holes. I have found out why I don't like Christmas. Because just like St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day, the origins of Christmas have been whitewashed and dehumanized by and dehumanized Roman pagan practices. Romans had two winter holidays, one to honor their god of agriculture, Saturn, and the other was to celebrate their sun god's birth, Mirth. Mirtha? What? One of the others? And it rhymed, but that's staying in. Guess when their birthday was? The 25th of December! Remind you of anyone? And in-game we have Yule, which is the Norse winter holiday, and in-game you have a Yule goat and the Yule tree. It is very commonly accepted and believed that Christmas was commercialized in such a way that it got popular very quickly and basically was used to cover up pagan and Roman holidays and demonize them for being wrong. Now, again, do you see a pattern? Now let's get into Yule. I mentioned in-game we have a Yule goat, and it's called the Yule tree. Just just look, it's y Yule tree. <laughs> but what is Yule exactly? Put simply, it was a Germanic winter holiday. It was to celebrate the winter solstice, much like Ostara was for the spring equinox. To celebrate seasonal change and to make offerings to whatever deity you worship for a great harvest next year when spring rolled back around. Sweden celebrates Yule to this day. Of course, it can vary with who you ask and what their winter traditions are. But very much, Yule is tied to Swedish traditions. Star Stable's world, Jorvik, celebrates Yule. The people of Jorvik celebrate Yule. It is a form of world building. The people of Jorvik are tied to nature, not just horses. Druids are a very real group of people that exist IRL as well as in-game. They are not just made-up concepts. Star Stable is using their traditions to celebrate, but are also leaving it up for interpretation for players who may not like it. That is why it's called the Winter Village instead of a Christmas Village or a Yule Village. Many of the traditions for Christmas were taken from Yule, holiday wreaths, candles, holiday, and mistletoe. That is why it's so very little decorations that are tied to one or the other. That's why it's more bland. It is just a village that would have existed long ago and they didn't have a lot of decorations they just had a few simple things that they could get their hands on to decorate i personally like that it isn't christmas for someone who plays a few different mmos that add holiday related things i do get tired of seeing christmas so to have a game i enjoy add their own winter holiday it is a nice change of pace and it made me want to learn more thus threw me down a rabbit hole for so many different holidays it made me hate the church more and i got to learn things with all of that i shall leave you with this you have a right to be upset that they are making changes, especially when it is something as big as holidays in-game that you have grown up with and are used to seeing. Everything I said in this video you can fact check for yourself, but if Star Stable wants to add more cultural references and traditions from their home country, I'm here for it. But again, an antique store would be great for those that missed out, and an April, Fo an April Fool's returning would be great to see again someday.